am Maria Palazzola, GM and Director of Golf for Tower T Golf and Recreation. And I'm out here on a beautiful day in the winter working on my game and thinking about all the lessons that I give and the questions that I get regarding the grip and how tight or loose should I hold on to my grip for the full swing. And it's a great question because doing it right or wrong can make a huge impact in how you contact your ball. So with the grip pressure, uh, sort of a standard answer most golf professionals will give you is we should be on about a four tension wise on a scale of one to 10. So we're not squeezing this as tight as we can, but we don't want to hold it too loose. So the way that I describe this a little bit more in detail for my students that I think really works is we want firm fingers, meaning I don't want this club coming loose in my hands while I'm, I'm swinging. I don't want tension changes. I want firm fingers, but I want supple wrists. So I like to have my students see if they can do little baby wrist cocks like this and little circles back and forth, then I know their tension level's not too high. So I wanna make sure that I'm nice and loose and tension free. Our arms are like this long swinging rope in the golf swing and our pivot's gonna move that rope. And we want that rope to react to the force and come through like a whip. If we have a lot of tension in our swing and our grip especially, it's gonna leak up our arms into our shoulders and it's gonna be really choppy and it's actually gonna slow you down and you're gonna lose some distance. So check on your grip pressure, give it a try and come see us at Tower T.